Hi, Denise. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for taking your time out. Um, and then, you know, giving me the chance to ask you a couple of questions. Um, I do really appreciate it. Um, what's it like in Solo right now? Hi, Sabrina, and uh, greetings all the way from uh, Solomon Islands. So, yeah, um, at the moment here, yeah, you know, with COVID and all that, just the talk of the town, you know, um, uh, people are trying to get vaccinated. I mean, the government is urging a lot of people to get vaccinated, um, you know, just to protect themselves and also the communities, you know, given the COVID um, number of cases that have increased with uh, neighboring um, border countries like Bougainville and PNG. So, yeah, I think uh, with COVID and all that, I think that's just um, the talk of the town, yeah. Um, yeah, no, that's so true. My parents did get theirs just recently. They were telling me about it. My grandma got it as well. And she was just going on about it, like how, you know, <clears throat> a lot of people in Seoul are having uh, too minor about the vaccine. But I heard you got your vaccine as well. Yes, I got mine yesterday afternoon. So um, I wasn't feeling uh, well this morning, so I didn't go to work. I yeah. uh, just slowly staying at home just to recover and hopefully I feel much better. Yeah, no, that's so true. That's good. Um, you should take care of yourself first. Thank um, you. So uh, let's get right into it. I um, just want to ask, I know you're an Australian award, um, awardee as well. Um, you used to study here in Melbourne. Um, you studied business. Would you recommend the OSA to other young students in Solo? Thank you. Uh, yes, I definitely would recommend. Um, so I applied for the um, Australian, my journey started back in 2015, um, towards the end of high school. Um, growing up, um, towards my high school years, I've always shown a keen interest in you know, economics and accounting. So it was either um, any of the fields that I would like to pursue an interest. And um, I was fortunate to be offered a, another scholarship to do an accounting degree. But, uh, you know, I turned that degree. I just uh, forgot that opportunity because I, uh, I, was, I always dreamed to become an accountant, but I forgot that dream and ambition to become one and decided to take on a new challenge and a different path. So that led me to accept, accepting that offer that was given by the Australian um, Awards to study a Bachelor of Business majoring in international trade from Victoria University in Melbourne, Australia. And definitely, I mean, with the Australian Awards, it's a great opportunity, you know. Uh, not only you grow personally, uh, professionally, but you so it gives you an opportunity to expand your horizon. And so that, you know, coming back home, you come back with more, much more than just a degree. And definitely I, I encourage young people, especially, you know, um, keep an open minded, um, listen to your inner voice, you know, and continue to discover what you're passionate about. Uh, Learn from experience and do not give up and just strive forward. Yeah. Thank you so much for that advice. Also, that you've used to live in Melbourne. Um, is there any strange Australian um, like accent or just a strange Australian habit that you've picked up along the way and then going home, you know, it's still stuck with you? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, I think, you know, coming from uh, the islands, you know, uh, you yourself know what it's like living here and it's a laid back um, atmosphere yeah so you can rock up to an event and it won't always you know start as planned you know it won't always so you know just from ex my experiences just living abroad um, the importance of you know punctuality is one thing that has resonated in myself so um, I've tried to factor it in whatever experiences I have been involved in whether it's work or personal life or something like that you know just yeah so I've brought that back with me at home so yeah that's just something I've picked up along the way thanks well that's so good I've, I've never actually really thought about the punctuality and um you know how because you know back home you always have island time whereas here there's no such thing as island time time is time time is yeah. money um yeah so that's good that you've implemented that into um your work ethic back at home um, so moving on, speaking of work ethic, um, you've worked with the World Bank um, and then now you're a senior trade officer. 
um, and the Solomon Islands Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Um, you know, that's so impressive. You know, you're a young um, student, recent uh, undergrad um, that just went back home and then you've already been holding um, these major um, positions um, in the workforce. What does your day to day look like, basically? Okay, so yes, so um, currently I'm working as a senior trade in the Department of uh, Foreign Affairs, um, External Trade in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and External Trade in Solomon Islands. Um, so uh, I am in the, with the negotiation team and it's a fairly small unit. So our day-to-day -day does vary um, with um, COVID-19 and travel restrictions, border closure, we can't really travel. So most of our trade related meetings will be happening uh, virtually. Um, so yeah, uh, sometimes I'll be preparing drafts, uh, especially briefs, you know, assisting my team um, for upcoming trade related me meetings. Um, sometimes I'll be working on trade stats, um, compiling them uh, just to make uh, feed that into various documents to make help uh, our senior colleagues to make informed decisions. And other times, you know, mostly with, with trade, it's, it's really cross-cutting and there are various stakeholders that um, are involved. So working closely with my colleagues to consult with um, competent authorities, you know, dealing with trade facilitation, whether it be biosecurity, customs or other government um, agencies and stakeholders um, on issues related to the implementation of trade agreements. Ah, thank you. Since, like, you know, going back home and working, you know, doing what you do now, what would you say was, like, your biggest achievement? I think, uh, you know, coming back home, I've uh, acknowledged the fact that it would be challenging to actually find a job, and particularly in a field that um, I would like to pursue, especially international trade. So, you know, just being humbled and blessed to have given the opportunity to work uh, two jobs actually you know as in the world bank and now with the department of external trade and just being in a position where i'm able to support my family so i would see that as an achievement that's great um so moving on um because you have i know you've also worked for pay supplies how important is free trade to solomon islands and <clears throat> what do business people um need to do to get pay supplies um i think so with free trade agreements um i mean with for, particularly for solomon islands uh, it's important because you know it will enable gains um, beyond the border uh increase competitiveness of solomon islands goods or you know services and actually creating um opportunities for um solomon islands businesses um so, Pays a plus is actually significant um, to Solomon Islands because of the market access offer. And another important component of um, Pays a plus is the labor mobility arrangement, which is an annex to the agreement. So with the COVID-19 um, pandemic and now um, they've opened the pool of workers to go to Australia to work. So it's an important part as it will, through remittance, will contribute from the workers earning in uh, Australia will play an important vital role in my kind of economic recovery. Um, especially with uh, businesses, I think uh, businesses, they face a huge challenges when it comes to the different requirements that, you know, it takes to export their products into the overseas markets, especially in Australia or um, New Zealand and with the other parties, uh, the pace of us agreement so i think uh just them getting ready i know that um through the pace of us agreement um, there so there's a funding readiness uh package funding that um has already been accessed by the parties to the agreement um the, sorry the signatories uh, enable them uh to help them through their rectification process so um and also i mean in one of the uh, activities within that uh, support was, you know, um, awareness. And um, before I joined um, some of my team members, they've been out to the provinces, particularly um, letting the businesses, the wider stakeholders know of, you know, peace of us and just uh, what are the opportunities under the trade agreement. Okay. 
Mm. So moving on from work, I have to ask, what is your favorite restaurant in Seoul? Okay, uh, yes, uh, this is, uh, thanks for your question. Um, yeah, so I think um, there's a new place that I think recently opened last year. So it's called Palm Sugar and uh, it offers variety of dishes, but it's a great atmosphere to um, enjoy the company of family friends. And uh, one thing I like about this place is it's situated within the um, Art Gallery Crafts Market um, Center. So not only you get to enjoy the food, but uh, have the opportunity to you know view or purchase um, various Somnan's unique um, arts and crafts that's being displayed there. Uh, I've heard about it so many times with people and I've seen it on people's like social media and stuff and I've never um, I've never had the chance to go and um, eat there but that sounds lovely I'd one day um, go and try and thank you so much for the recommendation I'm pretty sure everyone else that goes to solo after watching this they'll definitely go there um, anyway thank you so much Janice for taking your time out and talking to me and answering all my questions I know my viewers gonna watch this and learn so much from Pace of Plus, but also you as a young, um, a young role model for our youths out there. Thank you so much, Denise. Thank you, Sabrina, and uh, for having me and also giving me the opportunity to share my experience and uh, thoughts on with some of the questions that you've uh, actually uh, asked. And hopefully, you know, it will encourage or um, inspire someone out there. Thank you. Mm -hmm.